Yeah, you can see that I'm uh, working on uh, getting this uh, windshield frame set up to fit in this opening here. Um, yeah, this windshield frame that I'm trying to save, um, you can see that it's pretty much in the same kind of shape that the doors were in. Um, so what I ended up using was uh, muretic acid uh, to get the rust off of this, um, just so I didn't have to grind any more on that metal and, and take away any more metal than I can. Um, I'm just trying to save it uh, instead of spending the money on uh, buying a new one and then having to, you know, re fab it to uh, fit this opening here. Um, but uh, this, it, you can see that it's got a, it's got a little curl here where they, they, I guess they make it like a little drip edge right there. Well, when I go to install this thing, in this opening here, it's, uh, it's, it's proud of my header. And uh, with the convertible top, it's gonna, uh, I, I probably would have to, uh, you know, router an extra deeper groove into the, the header that I have. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna choose to, to just cut this along the top and just remove this little curl because I'm not gonna be able to get any paint in there anyway. So, so all that's going to do is just give me a, something that's not going to have any uh, any paint in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and zip this top off. And uh, once I get that top zipped off, then I'll be able to proceed in putting a encapsulator on this and uh, seal it off from seal it off from uh, any of the uh, contaminants that are inside of it. Uh, rust. I think you can probably see with that opening right there where this part of the windshield frame clicks into it. And so that's what that encapsulator I'm going to use that encapsulator for is to help seal this interior part that I can't, there's just no way that I can find out how bad it is inside. So I'm going to attempt to seal this off the best way I can to kind of keep that air, air out of there to, to help with that rust. And this had a, this had a piece that was tack welded on here that that flanged out to help go in this this area right here. But I removed it because it was so it was just really badly rusted, and I didn't want to save it because of the the rust that was down inside of it. And what I'll probably do after I have it painted. I'll probably use something like this. I mean, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, I have a piece of leather that's going to go on this dash. So I might use a piece of leather to go underneath this portion and wrap around. And then I'll have that other piece of leather here. So, okay, well, I'm going to cut that off. And we'll see what happens. So I cut the lip off. And you can see when I press this up against it, it's going to take some body filler to uh, take care of some of these openings. 
uh, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, treating that with, uh, it's an epoxy encapsulator. So it, the stuff that I have, uh, it's not your typical stuff you buy from the automotive places. So um, what I'll end up doing, it's a, uh, it's a, a two to one mixture and then there's a catalyst that mixes in with it. Um, it's, the product is called Rust Bond. So, you know, I'll be applying that on there and then I'll apply the body filler over the top of that and that'll give it a good, it, it, you know, it will seal it off really well. To, you can kind of see where the rust is coming back after I've cleaned it. So it's, uh, it's not in great shape, but I'm going to see what will happen by saving it. Um, probably shouldn't give me too much, too much problems. Okay, well, that's where I'm at. And uh, we'll see you soon.